Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What we're going to be talking about today is why coding is not enough to succeed as a software engineer in 2020. So in my opinion, the role of a software engineer has changed recently. And maybe like 10 years ago it was enough to know how to code and that's it. Maybe that would have gotten you a great job or, or given you the ability to make something meaningful and cutting edge. Uh, that people would use but these days i definitely don't think that just by knowing how to code you can build something meaningful so if you like the content feel free to like and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and if you're a returning subscriber i love you and i'm super grateful so there's a lot of junior developers that think that okay they can learn python spend a couple of months learning python and then perfect it you know be able to write for loops and stuff and then they'll be able to get a job at google or they'll be able to build like an amazing application that'll that'll make them a millionaire right that's not really true let's say you just spend a couple months and you get really good at python right python and like javascript and then so what you're what you're going to be able to do is you'll be able to build a simple app with no real infrastructure it's not really scalable not a lot of people can use it at once and if they can then it'll be really slow uh it's probably going to look really average too it's not going to look the nicest the, ex the user experience the ui is going to be pretty simple and what you what basically would end up happening is that okay you know how to code but the product that you made is really not that good what you want to do is build something cutting edge and let me tell you it takes a lot more than just knowing how to code to do that the role of a software engineer isn't really to write code but it's to solve problems right so how do you solve these problems if it's if there's no infrastructure it's not really scalable you want to understand different hosts like web hosting platforms right maybe look at amazon aws or Google Cloud or, you know, stuff like Firebase and Microsoft Azure. And if you're trying to build something a bit more complex on your web app, you know, you, you probably don't have to write it yourself. There's probably a lot of open source libraries, you know, there's probably a lot of stuff on GitHub or NPM that you can use and you don't have to rewrite yourself to deliver your product. Let's say you want to make like a streaming service online, right? No one wants to write that infrastructure themselves. No one wants to write their own, you know, video streaming endpoints and all that kind of stuff. It's already done for us on different open source libraries. So you should definitely leverage stuff like that, right? Also, if you want to build like if you want to implement chat into your application i think the biggest mistake you could possibly do is trying to write that from scratch if you're trying to write like using web sockets and trying to connect these different uh servers to each other and like you know emitting messages when when someone's uh, when someone sends a message and doing all this complicated stuff it's going to take so much time and like most importantly it's not going to be as good as an open source library you can just find online so this kind of stuff might sound a bit confusing uh but this is Definitely what being a software engineer is all about. You want to solve problems. You're not just trying to write code, but you're trying to solve difficult problems. And sometimes, you know, writing code isn't the way to do that. Sometimes it's just using something that someone else made online or trying to leverage a service that's available. And that's definitely uh, most of the time the best way to solve something. So like even making a simple website was new a couple of years ago, right? And these days uh, making a website isn't that difficult. So you want to constantly be pushing the boundaries of technology when you're building stuff. You can't just build a simple website these days and expect people to, you know, get on, pay for it, whatever service you're offering, right? So just as an example of, of a service you could build, let's say you want to sell shirts, right? So you can crowdsource the artwork or you can find someone on Upwork to you know get you some designs or polish up some designs that you had and there you go you have the artwork for your shirts so then you so then you can send the image of your shirts to Aliba, something like Alibaba for manufacturing so they're going to manufacture it send you all the shirts and then what you can do is send it to like an Amazon warehouse an FBA warehouse store the shirts and then use the warehouse to distribute your products as well then you can just register for a domain, you know, you can use like Shopify or Squarespace and you'll have a working website, right? Then you can have email campaigns using stuff like SendGrid, you buy some Facebook ads, you use Stripe to get some more payment options on your website. And there you go, you've built a real business. So what's the, what's the point of this whole little story? Well, the point is that you really didn't code, right? But you're still, you're still using different technologies to solve the problems. And that's still what being a software engineer is about. But like the point I'm trying to make is that coding isn't everything. Maybe there might be some uh, little things that you've coded here and there for this store that you made, like uh, for data analytics or whatever, like a dashboard to to see you like, you know, your past purchases or maybe like uh, whatever uh, machine learning to like predict your future sales, whatever you want to do. There might be a bit of coding here and there, but for the most part, you're just using things that were already made by other people. And that's the point I'm trying to, trying to make. You have to know how to do that as well as code. So don't get me wrong. Learning to code is definitely like very important. You're definitely going to be coding in your job. And it's definitely like something that's very good to be like really good at, right? Especially as a software engineer. But um, one of the things that you should also be doing is kind of, you know, building side projects. If you're trying to look for a new job or just your first job or whatever, um, or if you're trying to make like another source of income, building side projects is a very good way to put your skills into practice. 
And that's where you can waste a lot of time if you're trying to build something from scratch, right? That's where you really should learn how to leverage things that were already built by other people that are very readily available online and very easy to use. And that's also a kind of a good way to prep yourself for a career as a software engineer because you're going to be doing that a lot anyways, right? You're not always going to be writing code from scratch. A lot of the time you're going to be reading documentation for something that you have to implement yourself. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I definitely enjoyed making it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Have a good day, everyone.